Item number SCP-5876 Security Level 1 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures SCP-5876 is to continue its research at Site-83 Fire Remote Terminal. Employees previously staffed under Dr. Welch are to continue his work where applicable. Files above the required clearance are to be screened by SCP-5876 before distribution to lower-ranking personnel. Attempts to develop a fully functioning remote cognitive translation device for fish are ongoing. The current experimental RCTDF model is to be maintained by Foundation-approved technomancers due to SCP-5876's necessity to remain submerged in water, a viable solution to prevent short-circuiting from water exposure is under development. Description SCP-5876 is Dr. Eugene Welch, whose entire molecular structure was anonymously deconstructed and reconstructed to resemble that of a currently unknown species of fish by unknown methods. SCP-5876 exhibits standard physical needs and characteristics for aquatic animals in addition to human-level intelligence. Intelligence tests In order to fully ascertain SCP-5876's intellectual capabilities, it was tasked to perform tests of varying difficulty. The tests were performed by senior researcher Gary Mander Basin. Test to test the extent of SCP-5876's recollection capabilities. Result, SCP-5876 was presented with four consecutive series of 11 different shapes and colors. The flashcards used were presented in random order to prevent potential pattern recognition. SCP-5876 was able to recall each flashcard and the order they were presented with 100% accuracy. Comments It seems that SCP-5876 is still capable of memory recollection, just like it was when it was Dr. Welsh. His consciousness might still be in there somewhere. Test To understand the extent of SCP-5876's problem-solving skills. Result Single-digit math problems were written backward on the side of SCP-5876's tank so that it would be able to read the numbers correctly. Stones labeled with potential answers to the problems were then dropped into the tank. At each question, SCP-5876 would pick up a stone with the corresponding answer in its mouth upon quest. Comments Problem solving skills are in check. The fish is intelligent. Maybe we can figure out a way to establish a line of communication and see if works is still in there. Test to observe a potential connection to Dr. Welch's previous life experiences. Result SCP 5876 was presented three photographs of significant events in Dr. Welch's life, two of which were fabricated. These including the first time he rode a bicycle. Note, Dr. Welsh never learned to ride a bike. His prom date. Note, Dr. Welsh did not attend his high school prom. And a recent photo of his husband and children. SCP-5876 swam in figure 8 pounds in its tank when presented to these photos, presumably in a state of content. When asked to identify which of the photos were genuine, SCP-5876 was able to successfully distinguish between the fabricated images and the genuine one. Results. This is looking good. He might be onto something. Test attempted communication. Result. SCP-5876 was presented with 30 blocks with the letter of the English alphabet carved into each side. It was then asked by researcher Gary Mandel Basin if it could confirm whether or not it was Dr. Welsh, with considerable difficulty, SCP-5876 rearranged the box to spell the phrase, It's me! Help! Comment, and that confirms it. Establishing communication. 
on December 4th, 1956, researcher Gary Mendel Basin theorized that SCP-5876 could potentially communicate with observers if the thought translator was developed. To that end, he enlisted a team consisting of 13 technomancers, 17 Foundation engineers, and 3 Foundation marine biologists. Over the course of 9 weeks, several thought translating prototypes were developed, many of which failed upon initial activation. The 500th prototype, dubbed Poseidon 9000, achieved functional status and was attached to SCP-5876. Shortly after submission, however, the Poseidon 9000 model short-circuited, temporarily neutralizing SCP-5876. On-site veterinarians were called in to resuscitate SCP-5876 and were successful in doing so. The following is the sole message SCP-5876 managed to transceive prior to the malfunction of the Poseidon 9000 model. STOP FREAKING ELECTRICATING ME!